Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu, and in this problem, we will work together on the relative velocity. So at the first, it tells us there is the, the velocity, the airplane to the air. So the airplane is heading south, right? So the airplane to the air heading south is a 580 km per hour. So we plot it there. The second one tells us the, there is a wind. So the velocity is the air to the ground is 90 km to the ground, 75 degree, 75 degree, agree? Okay? And then the next one asks you to find the velocity, the airplane to the ground. So this is so easy to understand. The velocity airplane to the ground should equal to velocity airplane to the air plus the velocity air to the ground. Do you agree? Yes, so this one is the relative velocity equation. The next one we can do the velocity decomposition. You can see we can write the velocity at two component, I component and the J component. So it's so easy, we find the airplane, the velocity airplane to the air is a negative 580, the J, right, the J, so it's a negative. And then this one we projected in the X component and the Y component, the velocity air, air relative to ground, so projected in two components. This one is velocity times cosine theta. This velocity times the sine theta. And then we find the velocity, the airplane to the ground in the vector format. After we get this vector format, we can very easily to get its magnitude and angle theta. The next one asks you how far um, this airplane travels uh, at x component. So there, uh, after the time taking, T is take give you. So in this one, you know the T. You need, need to find displacement at the X component. Very easy. We can find the velocity for this one at X component. Do you agree? At X component for this one is just uh, 90 kilometers projected in X component, and then we get it. So this is how much it traveled. Thank you.